Hey guys, welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith. This is Logan's Aquatics. What's up? And today we're gonna buy some coral, maybe some fish, and maybe some inverts. I don't know. We'll see what we can get find out. for uh, Logan's Aquatics 20 gallon. We haven't really done an update. Yeah, you're taller than me. I gotta do this. We haven't really done an. Well, what the? <laughs> We haven't really done an update on his tank in a while, so I'll see y'all when we pick some stuff out. Alright Logan, so first things first, let's look at some of the corals here and see what we got, see what you like, and I'll let you know if we can keep it in your tank. Um, but you should know some of them by now. Like these ones. Um, and then we'll take them home and put them in your tank too. So you definitely like some of these, right? Yeah, so... How many you want? Since I'm kind of colorblind, we'll get five. I'm gonna let you pick them out. All right, I'll pick them out for you. I'll just... This blue and orange or pink, I want at least one of them. All right, we can make a little zoa garden when we get back too. Sounds good. All right, so I'm not gonna show all the corals Logan's taking now. So if you wanna see a video of him picking the coral, make sure you check out his channel. Link will be in the description. I'll make sure he actually edits and posts this video because he's been saying he's gonna post and he never has. Make sure you guys stay tuned till the end when we go to his house and actually show you all the corals he ended up picking out, all the fish we picked out, and put in his tank. What do you think, Logan? You want a stingray? Yeah, yeah stingray. You want a stingray for your uh, 20 on? Yeah, I, want, I want the big one. That guy's beautiful. Oh, I don't want, that one's gonna pop so. That one does not pop. Boing. Boing. So we're definitely gonna pick out one of these cleaner shrimp here. They'll be good because it'll help clean out um, any clean off any of his fish or any parasites or anything like that. Um, and they're just cool to have in the tank. are kind of going out but if you haven't seen the video on us setting up these two tanks make sure you check it out link will be in the description you got davis in it too he helped build these um but yeah actually this is one of the tanks that you have at your house this is one of the 20 gallons yep nice. this is just on a stand nice stand yep yeah. all right so i'm gonna go bag up all of his corals his fish his inverts all like that and then we're gonna head back to his house. Um, we also got some water to do a water change on it as well. We're gonna head back to his house, put the acclimated all and put it in his tank. So I'll see y'all when we get to his house. All right, we got the bags in the tank here at his house. Here's the tank. Um, we're gonna let this float for 15 to 20 minutes, let it get acclimated and I'll see y'all then. 15 minutes later. All right, y'all, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pop open these guys, put the corals where they need to go and put the inverts in as well. And I'll show y'all what we got. All right, first things first, we got this nice conch here. Um, this guy will help clean out his sand because he does have a little bit dirtiness in his sand. Go ahead and pop them open in this little makeshift bucket here, and then we'll add them in the tank. Next thing on the list is we got this nice cleaner shrimp. This guy will help uh, with any parasites on his fish. It's also just cool to have in the tank. Um, so there he is right there. Drop a name for our new skunk cleaner in the comments. Also drop a name for the the two clownfish. Clown fish. We never actually named them. So these are a black storm pair of clowns. He's had these for a little bit now. Now for the coral, hold on Logan before you pull it out of the water. Since they're already open, I'll show it here. Um, this here is a blasto, so we got a nice blasto. And then we got five different types of zoas, which are all kind of closed up, so you all have to wait till later to see what they are. Okay, while he's opening up those and putting them in the bucket down Bye. here, I would like to explain. Usually I'd recommend dipping the coral before you put them in your tank. We already went ahead and dipped them at the store when we were over at Top Shelf Aquatics. Um, so these guys are already dipped. We dipped them in Coral RX. It's usually the dip we use at Top Shelf, also what I use at home. So it's usually the dip I recommend. He just hasn't gotten any yet, so I did it ahead of time for him. But yeah, definitely dip your corals. You wanna do about five minutes in the recommended amount. So here's a little update on the tank while we're waiting for him to open up the bags of coral. The tank doesn't look too, too good. Uh, the corals, some of the corals have died. So what we have left are these GSP frags. Um, we had that toadstool. It's closed up because the bags were just in it. Um, and then we had the pair of clowns, which are super nice. We got their mushroom over here, and then we have one zoa left, I think. And the reason it doesn't look as good as it did is because Logan actually went on like a little vacation. So he hasn't been home. He hasn't been able to take care of the tank. You didn't take care of your tank. Yeah, you're right. What do you have to say for yourself? 
Next time having you come over, <laughs> only the clothes close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, let's make this look a whole lot better by adding our new stuff. And now Logan's back, so he'll actually be able to take care of it. The reason we got another conch is because this guy actually stole the conch shell, the stupid electric hermit crab. Um, and the other one's over here. We do need to probably get rid of him because he did kill um, three of your fish? Two fish and a conch. Two fish and the conch. So yeah. probably get rid of him. And probably the um, crab. And probably get a different type of crab. First things first, we got to add the conch. What's, what's my fishy? All right, now it is time to add our cleaner shrimp. All right, you got the cleaner shrimp. Go ahead and add our cleaner shrimp into the tank. Like I said, drop names for this guy in the comments for sure. He's pretty cool. He's already cleaning your hand. You're going to have to like pull your arm out. He'll come off. There he goes. Go down, buddy. Super cool little guy. Go down, buddy. Cleaner shrimp are definitely one of my favorite invert. And he'll actually help eat like any leftover food and stuff in the tank too. But not least, we have to add some of our really pretty corals. So we're actually gonna cut all the bottoms of the plugs off with like a pair of scissors, and then we're gonna glue them onto parts on the rock when we figure that out. So let's go grab the scissors. Let's go. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and cut off all the plugs on here. So I'm just gonna do that like on all these and it'll be easier to it'll give us a flat surface to glue the coral down to the rock. So I'm gonna do this uh, four more times and I'll get back to you guys. So now that we got them cut off, we got our super glue here. Um, ours is a little broken, so I'm just gonna take the entire cap off. And now we're gonna glue the frags where we want them. So first things first, we got this blasto here. So Logan, where do you want this guy? Hmm. Um, Probably should have thought of it. Like here? That's right. Maybe. Or do you want to leave him in the sand? Yeah, I have that one there, then that one over there. All right, we'll leave this guy in the sand a little bit. Hopefully the uh, conks don't bury him. So just pay attention to that, make sure they don't. And then zoa wise we got a bunch of different kinds here. So I'm just gonna kind of spread them around um, on the rock as so. Keep a good like two inch distance. So if you have one there, you can put one like maybe here. You want to keep them a good distance away because they grow pretty quickly. So I'm gonna kind of put them how I want them, so. Alrighty guys, it's now the next day, so it's time to check out some of the corals. They haven't opened up fully yet, just because the hermit crab started jumping on them and cleaning them off, so. So boom, here are our new corals. There's our little zoa garden over here. As I said, some of them are still closed up because the hermit crab is crawling across them. But we got um, one of the new ones here, here, there. And then we got the two up here as well. They look, actually, these two look really good. Um, this is one of the older ones that were in here. And then we got our pair of clowns right here. There's the new blasto coral as well. And then there is our skunk cleaner shrimp right under the cave there. He's still a little shy, but he'll come out eventually. I also went ahead and glued the GSP to the back wall on three different spots. So hopefully that'll all grow out and we'll get a whole green wall in the background, which would be pretty cool. Um, and we have the toadstool from earlier and then the mushroom that was already in here as well. And then there's our hermit crab and the new conch is in the sand right here. You lose.
emotions, but my conscience is true. Alrighty guys, with that being said, that's gonna wrap today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. As usual, check out his channel and then just comment a bunch of comments telling him to actually post a video. He only has a couple videos and they're from like two years ago. <laughs> so anyway, till next time, peace.